there's no way around it. Rejection hurts. It just hurts. If somebody you care about leaves you, it hurts. If somebody you love pushes you away, it hurts. It's just the way it is, right? And as empaths, we've had our fair share of hurt and rejection and pain. When we had traumatic experiences at a young age and we didn't know how to process it, it became too much and overwhelming. We just had to numb ourselves. We learned to, in order to survive, we had to cope. So we cut ourselves off at the neck from our emotions. And we went into the only place that felt safe for us, our minds. Here, it became about figuring things out, anticipating what could go wrong, anticipating other people's moods. If there was a narcissist, an abuser in your life, it was all about reading their moods to make sure that you would survive. That's what the mind is, is there for, to help us survive, to help us figure things out for safety. So we went into the space where it became all about worry, fear, overthinking, creating this addiction, creating tremendous anxiety, a state of survival. We were into survival mode. And in that space, it was completely cut off from our heart, from who we really are as empaths. That's who we are. So when we cut off, we cut off from the emotions, both the negative emotions and also the positive ones. We cut off from passion. We cut off from this high level energy, enthusiasm. We cut off from possibilities, from options too. And we learned to be in this debilitating state of anxiety, worry, and fear, which became our natural way to operate in the world. It became a natural state of being for us. As life ensues, right, we get into friendships or relationships with this pattern. This pattern comes along with us. It's not like we can leave it in childhood and move on free from it. This pattern, these wounds come with us. So we keep creating the same situations. That is all we know. We keep attracting the same type of people. We keep attracting abusers. We keep attracting narcissists. We keep attracting takers. That's all we know, leading to more rejection and to more pain. This endless cycle of rejection until we've had enough. At some point in our lives, we realize I've had enough. Something has to change because yes, as empaths that have gone through trauma, there's this thing about us that we will never give up, never give up. There's this strength inside us that we will not stop looking for a way out. We will not stop looking for a way to fix ourselves. We will not give up. We would just won't give up. It's a strength that I've seen in every single empath that I've worked with. And it's funny because most of us feel that we're weak, that we do not have any strength. We generally feel very weak. It's completely the opposite. There's the strength, this dogged determination ultimately tells me that we know deep down that we deserve better. We just know. So at some point we stand in that power and we say, there has to be a change. There has to be a change. Something has to change. It just has to. And that is thanks to rejection. We get fed up of depending 
and other people that are not dependable. That is what codependence is. We are depending on something or someone that is not dependable. We are depending on something that is outside of ourselves. And we finally realize that the only way we can break through this is to depend on the only person that we can always depend on. And that is you, my love. We can only depend on ourselves. Rejection brings us back to ourselves to do the only thing that works, the healing work that we need to do. We need to tend to those wounds so that we can heal them and completely be in our light, in our heart. That is the space that we are naturally at. This is where, who we are. We cannot enjoy life live life at our fullest, live our purpose, our mission, if we are not in our hearts. And in order to come back into our heart and leave that space of safety that we've overdeveloped, right? That brilliant mind that you have, we need to find safety in our emotions. We need to find safety in ourselves. We need to find safety in our hearts. And we need to do this in a sacred healing container that feels safe, where we are guided, where we are held, where we are supported, and we are taught the tools and the life skills that we did not learn because we were emotionally stunted. And learn the, the, the tools that are going to help us process not just the wounds we experience, but anything that shows up in life. We can go back and with these tools, process what is happening, process what is going on, process these emotions so that we can again ground ourselves in this healthy space of independence feeling free to be who you are, not anymore needing someone else, whatever that addiction is. Sometimes it's people, relationships, sometimes it's alcohol, sometimes it's drugs, whatever that is, sometimes it's food, right? Whatever it is, there's no judgment around it. We all cope in different ways, but we finally feel that we wanna break free from that addiction, whatever it is, from that codependence and tap into this independence that we are longing for, that we are craving for, that we know we deserve and we know is inside of us. And we can do it. Once we do that, we realize the most important thing, you're not broken. There's nothing wrong with you. And even more important, you're not alone. Once we connect in this way with ourselves, you will never feel alone. Lonely and alone are two different things and we are able to differentiate them. Feeling lonely is something that we all feel at times, and it's absolutely normal. But this dreadful feeling of I'm alone, that we feel as empaths, that make us grab onto someone else for dear life as if it is the air that we need in order to survive, that disappears. And that neediness disappears. And when that neediness disappears, because we heal, now we're centered in our power. We're grounded. Now you become magnetic. Things come to you, people come to you, which is so different than having that desperate needy energy where we're going after people, relationships, money, clients, or love as if it were the most important thing in this planet. 
Needy energy repels. Grounding ourselves in our power and for empaths is in our heart completely. That's where we are lit up. That's where we are completely in our power. This is where we become magnetic, radiant, powerful.